Dubai Tourism has launched the 2022 South African Roadshow. The Roadshow will highlight the variety of affordable Dubai experiences and the city's offering uh, to key travel partners in South Africa. Now let's uh, discuss this. We are now joined via Zoom by uh, Stella Fubara. She is the Regional Director of International Operations, uh, Dubai Department of Economy and Tourism. A warm welcome to you. Thanks so very much for joining us here on SABC News. I am so happy to be here and I'm so impressed you got my name right. I've been called all sorts of things, but you got it right. But I'm happy to be here. Thank you. It's, it's my job. You're welcome. Talk to us about the roadshow and, and you know what you know South Africans can expect um, and, and, and really what is it um, all about? Well, first of all, let me acknowledge the fact that we've all been through very trying times uh, due to, to COVID. And this is post-pandemic now. And Dubai wants to let the South African traveler know that we welcome you with open arms. We empathize with you for all that you went through in the past two years. And we have new, great, and affordable things and attractions and places for you to stay in Dubai. And so we partnered with um, with Emirates Airlines and several, several Dubai stakeholders like hotels and attractions and DMCs to come to South Africa and showcase what we have and why, if they are looking to travel outside of South Africa, Dubai should be their number one choice. Yeah, you know, uh, South Africans love Dubai. I'm sure you're very well uh, aware of that. However, Dubai is seen as, you know, a very expensive destination and, you know, you're talking about you know affordable packages but when we're talking about Dubai what exactly is affordable to the the average South African to a person like me I've got news for you you know when you're going to a destination it's all about knowing the the tricks and deals that are available mm. do you know that for South Africans their tr their peak travel period is June July August mm. and that also happens to be the lowest price period for Dubai i can tell you from personal experience that you can get a five star hotel for about 50 dollars a night mm -hmm in the months of June, July, and August. And the airlines are also doing great summer fairs during those periods. So it's a great opportunity and it is completely affordable. Also, there's so much to do in Dubai for free. The trick is you have to have the right travel agent. Yeah. You have to have a travel agent that understands Dubai, has been to Dubai, and can point you in the right direction. Yeah. And, and let's talk about that then. You know, you talk about that there's so much to do. Maybe take us through uh, some of those things that might excite uh, South Africans to do while they are in Dubai that might be um, affordable. And also, you know, it's, it's, it's not always easy to find a great travel agent. You know, it's usually, in my experience, it's been, you know, word of mouth. But, you know, for someone who might not know anyone who's been to Dubai, where does one actually begin um, in searching for that uh, great travel agent? So first of all, I would always go to the visitdubai.com website. When you go to the visitdubai.com website, we have links for any travel agent who we are partnering with in your country that are on our website. The second thing you need to know is if you do your work, your homework online, just Google Dubai. Um, if you're Googling from South Africa, several travel agents will come up. And when you go to their websites, Start comparing the pack, the pricing of the packages. When it comes to free things to do in Dubai, we have malls that range from discount malls all the way up to luxury malls. And those malls are not just for shopping. They're also a source of entertainment. Lots of free entertainment goes on in the malls on a daily basis, especially during summer. During summer, we have something, our summer, which is your winter, yeah. we have something called the Dubai Summer Surprises. Especially for families that are traveling, there is something free to do in almost every single mall every Every day of summer. And then we when you get into our winter, which is November, December, January, we've got Dubai Shopping Festival, where almost all the retail stores are doing 70 to 90% discount. It's all about um, knowing um, which travel agent to use. And then if you still want to do more homework on your own, go to DubaiCalendar.com. Mm -hmm. DubaiCalendar.com. You can do a search based on 
the activity that you like. You can do it based on travel period. You can do it based on couples. You can do it based on business. And you can do it based on leisure for all the events and activities taking place during the time that you want to travel. And it will tell you which ones are free and the prices of the ones that aren't. Yeah. So we've got so much information out there to help you build affordable travel to Dubai. All right, Estella, pleasure speaking to you and I'll certainly look into it myself. Thank you very much for giving us uh, your time. And have certainly you been? Uh, no, I actually haven't, but I will. <laughs> Thanks very much, Estella. <laughs> Stella Fubara, the, uh, the Regional uh, Director of uh, International Operations at Dubai Department of Economy and uh, Tourism.